we just want peace right now. We just want to lay her to rest. Um, peace for her and my family. A terrible loss relived for Paige Johnson's little sister, Araya Holloman. Gathering at this memorial in Davu Park means a moment of reflection. Now I'm 15 and she was 17, and so it's gotten harder for me as I grow up because of how short I realized her life was. You belong somewhere close to me. Music is played, candles are lit, flowers are left at a tree of remembrance. It's been 11 years since 17-year-old Paige vanished and more than a year since her body was found by hunters and woods in Claremont County. Right now, the last person to see her alive, Jacob Bumpus, is charged with abuse of a corpse and tampering with evidence in connection to her disappearance. The case was filed in July 2020 and is slowly making its way through court. That also means the family can't have Paige's remains yet or a proper funeral. Her mom is wrecked forever from this. She's not the same person. She was always like very bubbly and super sweet. And she just, you know, there's a there's a bit of a dark hole with, you know, to lose your daughter like this. Paige, a young mom, reportedly disappeared in Covington. She'd been to a party with a then 22-year-old Bumpus, who said he dropped her off at a house in the middle of the night. Since then, many memorials and more questions unanswered as loved ones push for accountability. It doesn't even amount to the pain my mom feels in one single day, but I think it's in God's hands. Um, justice will be served. And that was Dan Griffin reporting. Online court records show the case against Bumpus has been continued several times. The next hearing set for November 5th, 1 o'clock in the afternoon in Claremont County Court.